Hi everyone, this is Jeremy Moskowitz, Group Policy MVP and founder of Policy Pack Software. And in this video, this is going to be a little advanced AGPM tip. So again, this is already, the assumption is, is that you are already knee deep in AGPM or the Advanced Group Policy Management Tool that's part of Microsoft's MDOT package. It's not meant to be a full training. This is an advanced tip for already existing AGPM administrators. So here's the uh, here's the thing. So let's say you, uh, you're you here under control and you create a new control GPO and we'll and we'll just call this uh, test one two three GPO. It kind of doesn't matter for the purposes of this. So we'll go ahead and we'll uh, give it a name here and we'll create it inside the archive. One of the things that is uh, sort of troublesome is that let's say you have some kind of custom delegation that you want upon that group policy object. So here's the GPO. Let's assume that you've edited it, you've, you've checked it out, you've edited it, you've rechecked it back in and you're ready to deploy it. Now when you deploy, uh, what will happen is that the, there's going to be a stamp that's put upon the group policy object from what's called the production delegation. So here in production delegation, this stamp is now going to be put upon that group policy object that's now been deployed live. So let me go ahead and go to check, check that out. If I go to delegation, you'll see that that's the stamp. The problem is, is that let's say, let me get this all on camera here. Let's say that you uh, decide you need to do something unique, like maybe you need to remove authenticated users and add in a group of, uh, doesn't really matter. For the purposes of this quick chat, I'll just use backup operators. It's silly, but it's, it's okay for the purposes of this talk. So I've made some changes here to, to this. Well, if you go back to change control and you go back to uh, the group policy object, the very next time you redeploy that group policy object, it's going to restamp in that production delegation. So if I hit deploy, you're going to see that it's just going to overwrite that stamp. I'll show you again. I'll just click right in the group policy objects node here. And I'll take a look at test GPO123 and boom, it's overwritten that. The tip that I got recently, which is pretty neat, is let's say you go ahead and you remove uh, and change the uh, the the security here and I'll put in my weird my weird security filtering what I learned uh, as a new tip is that if you right click and then you import from production what this is going to do is it's going to suck in the special permissions that you put upon that group policy object so now the next time you go to redeploy it after you edit it the next time okay it will not perform what's in production delegation and instead maintain the settings that you that you had there we go so that is the tip very advanced uh, I you know I don't expect this tip to be great for everybody it's only for advanced and uh, uh, AGPM administrators who've already been doing this for a while if you're looking to get end-to-end -end training on AGPM I do perform end-to-end -end training on AGPM slower in more excruciating detail in my group policy private class and in my public class. So if that's interesting for you, I hope to see you at gpanswers.com and we'll get you signed up and we'll see you there. Thanks so much.